10 things you probably didn't know about NAMI. Number one, the name NAMI means wave. It is safe to assume the name NAMI meaning wave was picked for NAMI due to the fact that she would become the navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates in the story and that navigation ties into the waves of the ocean. Number two. Nami was introduced much earlier in the anime than she was in the manga. In the anime, she was introduced in episode 1 while Luffy was on Alveda's ship. However, in the manga, she was not introduced until the Orange Town arc in chapter 8. Number 3. Ichida Oda's wife, Chinaki Inaba, cosplayed as Nami at Jump Festa 2002. Her cosplay was of Nami in her original outfit that she wore when she was introduced. And what I mean by that is she was wearing the outfit Nami was wearing when she was introduced in the manga. Number 4. According to One Piece Green Secret Pieces, a One Piece data book, Nami was initially going to be an axe wielder. There are even some pictures depicting Nami with a robotic metal leg and arm holding a giant battle axe. It is a much more badass design and weapon of choice. However, we do know Oda wanted to be able to do fan service, and I can tell you right now that design and fan service would not have gone well together for most people. But if you're into metal legs, then uh, I guess you would have liked that design. Number 5. It will be revealed in SBS Volume 8 that Nami is the third smartest character in the East Blue. The first being Ben Beckman, the first mate of the Red Hair Pirate, and the second being Crow of a Thousand Plans. Number 6. People often ask how Nami punches are able to hurt Luffy. Well, here's your answer. When asked in SBS Volume 43 how Nami is able to hurt Luffy without the use of hockey, it was explained by Oda that Nami is attacking Luffy's spirit and therefore causing him physical damage. Now, while it doesn't make a lot of sense, this is really just the best explanation that Oda can give due to the fact that these scenes are merely, are merely comedic relief. Number 7. In One Piece Manga Chapter 97, Nami can be seen trying on some clothes. One of the outfits that she tries on is almost identical to the outfit that Robin wears in her introduction in the Alabasta arc, possibly a foreshadowing for the character of Nika Robin, a future member of the Straw Hat crew. Number 8. In SBS Volume 66, Oda revealed the blood types of the Straw Hat. In this SBS, he revealed that Nami blood type is X, and that is the same blood type as her crewmates Chopper and Brook, all sharing the blood type X. Number 9. In One Piece Manga Chapter 672, Sanji uses blue walk wall in Nami's body. This has been a topic of debate for a long time. How can Nami do this? Well, that has not yet to be revealed, but I do find it very interesting that Sanji is able to do a technique like blue walk in Nami's body when Nami should not be physically capable of performing it. Perhaps blue walk is an actual technique that doesn't rel that relies on mastering a skill and does not require a certain strength level. Number 10. Nami is arguably the second most important crew member. She is the only one who can use the information Nico Robin gets from the rogue Podolith to create a map that she can use to navigate Luffy to Rastel. Meaning, even if Robin were to decipher a rogue Podolith, she would just have a ton of coordinates but no map. Nami is the only one that can take that information, make it into a map, and navigate to that area. So without her, even if they find all four road protagonists, they still wouldn't get to Rathel. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave it a like. And remember to tell me your thoughts on these facts in the comment section down below. If you want more videos like this, subscribe and you can be notified as soon as they come out. And above all else guys, have a great day. The One Piece Nation. Dining out.